Okay, the history, brief history of uh, Wireless for the Blind is this, that there was a guy who was uh, wounded in the Boer War and he was in hospital and he was actually blinded, was one of his injuries and he was totally, totally bored and, and, and down and all the rest of it. And then this guy, two of his friends came in and he was fed up. So they made him a, a radio, a crystal radio, out of coat hangers and aerials and bits of wire and a radiator. And it actually transformed his stay because he could listen to radio stations. So when he got better, he actually said that he would start a fund to raise money for blind people because there was nothing for him to do and people in the forces and all the rest of it. So that was where it all started and that he was the founder member of British Wireless for the Blind. The guy who started the actual charity was Captain Twos and he, he, uh, he actually knew Winston Churchill who actually was the guy who opened or started the charity and opened it in Christmas Day in 1929. What's your channel? Phonic FM. Phonic. Phonic. So if you go to the website www.phonic.fm. Okay, right. Okay. okay. Right. right. If, if you wanted to add a station, right. there's two ways you can do it. You can go to stationlist.net, right, and, and you can actually... It's, there's a, there actually is two sites on there. One is for sort of visually impaired people, so basically it's easier for them to cruise down that one and you can add or delete stations, okay? Right. You, so if you wanted to add your station, if it was on, if it was on the internet, it could be added to the database because there's thousands and thousands of stations on the database. If they're not there, they can be added. And the other way of doing it is, if you ring or people ring head office and yeah. speak to a guy called Luke, he's right. a good man, yeah. he, will, he will download or upload the stations to your radio and all you need is the serial number of the radio and even the serial number is is spoken to you because that's in um, that's in uh, in a menu on the radio and you can access it so right, it is there okay. it's completely all accessible right. so that's the way to do it okay well we'll try and get Phonic FM on the database that's that sounds like the simplest, simplest well, way of doing well it. head office would do that they would put that on right they would okay. just if you're on the internet that would put that on no problem yeah. okay yeah and uh, it's, it's good to know that wireless now includes the, the radio. If you've got a Wi-Fi set up in your home, you can, you can have the radio working on a, on a Wi-Fi basis. And it can be anywhere you want to be in your house, anywhere at all. Yeah. Anywhere at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Andy, th thanks very much. Okay. That's... And I've got that one myself, and I think it's good. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So that's, that's a good recommendation. Cheers. Thank you.